This is it, guys. This is the final upgrade I'm doing. What's up, guys? It is I, the Apple Buy here today. I'm back with a brand new video for you all. And today, I have something a little special for you guys. That is the Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, SSD for my MacBook Pro. So obviously this is quite a nice SSD here. I got it for $150 um, after tax it was $160 though. $160.49 to be exact at Best Buy. It is completely brand new and I'm really excited to go ahead and give this a shot here on my MacBook Pro. Um, right now, my MacBook Pro runs in a 500GB hard disk drive. Looking right here, you can see I'm backing up the last of my files onto my um, external hard drive here. Yes, I did get this as well, so that way I could properly back up my files. I got this a few days ago, and I've just been backing up files to it and stuff. Um, as I said, when I upgraded the RAM in this MacBook, I said I wanted to properly prepare for an SSD by getting an external hard drive, then the SSD, so... Um, I am properly prepared for this now. Um, I'm just putting up the last files onto this drive so that way I can go ahead and just erase this drive. Basically what my course of action will be is to just regularly erase this drive. I know I should 7 pass it, but I'm going to be keeping the, the, the drive for a little while until um, I get an external caddy to be able to fully wipe it because I just want this SSD in this MacBook as soon as possible. This MacBook is dying for an SSD. You can look at the specs of my MacBook Pro currently right now. You can see uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch late 2011 with a 2.2 gigahertz Intel i7, uh, 16 gigs of RAM which I did upgrade a little while ago if you remember that video, and then the dual graphics of course. And then for storage you can see um, right now it will show also my external hard drive so ignore that one right there that's just the hard drive this is my current drive this is the 500 gigabyte um, hard disk drive not the one that came with the MacBook Pro um, it got swapped out at some point from the previous owner that had it owner slash seller so um, we're going from a completely standard regular Apple hard disk drive to an Samsung SSD I am really glad that I'm getting this SSD finally so many people on YouTube would always argue with me or not really argue because I knew I needed an SSD but people would always be commenting why don't you get an SSD why don't you get an SSD your MacBook needs an SSD your MacBook needs an SSD I always told people yes I do plan on getting an SSD just wait for a little bit because you know I don't want to cheap out and get some stupid like 120 gig gigabyte uh, SSD. I need 500 gigabytes and I'm willing to dish out the money for a nice SSD. And then people said, oh, well, why don't you take out the optical drive of your MacBook? And I said, no, I like the optical drive. Like I said, I'm willing to pay for a 500 gigabyte drive. So right here, that's what I did. I paid for the 500 gigabyte drive. Before we take a look at all the meat here that we see here, actually, I mean, this is more like metal, not meat, but you get what I'm, what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and look at the product documentation here. It's always a good thing to look at. Oh, I'm already tearing apart this documentation. Wow, is it like stuck together or something? Forget the documentation, it's stuck together. Let's take a look at the drive here. So, um, obviously this is the front Samsung. It's extremely light as expected since there's no mechanical parts in it. Um, you can take a look at all the info back here. VNAND SSD, 850 Evo, 500 GB going straight into my MacBook. I guess you aren't supposed to take off this. You're supposed to peel off the sticker and then open it. So here we have the Samsung solid state drive stuff. Uh, installation guide. Ooh, an optical disc. Hey, this is perfect for my MacBook Pro. See, I wouldn't be able to use this if I just, you know, took out the optical drive and then, you know, put in the SSD where that's at. I wouldn't be able to use this disc, but I don't even know if this is like, you know, Mac OS compatible. We'll go ahead and give this DVD a shot when the time, when the time comes when my SSD is installed and running. So, um, for now, I just need to keep on backup, uh, backing up files on my MacBook, and then we'll go ahead and rip open the MacBook, throw in the SSD, and install High Sierra. Take one last good look at this, guys. Take one last good look at this MacBook Pro, because it is about to be transformed. Now, boot up times are one of the things that are drastically improved with an SSD here. We are still with the hard disk drive in this MacBook, and we are going to time to see how long it takes for this MacBook. MacBook Pro to boot up and also um, I did set a couple of heavy applications such as Final Cut Pro, Microsoft Word, and oh there's another application. There's not there's three heavy uh, 
applications I use daily that take a while to load up when I first boot up my computer in the morning. So I set them to launch at login. So we'll go ahead and boot this bad boy up in three, two, one. There we go. We're off. And I'll go ahead and time lapse this for you. There we have it for all of my applications I set to launch at login, which was Final Cut Pro, iTunes, and Microsoft Word, and then also Hotspot Shield. Um, for all these to launch, it took um, it took a whopping 2 minutes and 51 seconds, almost 3 minutes. Of course, these times do kind of vary because, you know, I don't launch all these applications at start. But this is just to give you a point of a reference of how much of a difference this SSD will probably make. I can probably tell you now this SSD will, you know, cut this time in half easily. So, of course, um, everything is ready to go here. But we're going to ha go ahead and erase this drive. So the first thing that I want to do is just go ahead and erase the hard drive. This is just going to be a quick erase just to erase it. I'll do a 7 pass on it later. So um, the combination you want to do, though, for... Um, the restore air area or the EFI UEFI to be exact. I don't remember the exact name of it off the top of my head, but you do command option R. So right here, it's always kind of a kind of a mess to do this with. So something like that. Kind of have your hands all garbled all over the keyboard, and go ahead and boot it up, and just keep holding down these keys until it gets into a specific screen. There we go. We can be done with that. All right, so we are into the macOS utilities. It took forever for this thing to boot into um, this mode, but whatever. At least we're in it. So disk utility continue. Let it load for a quick second. And you can see here disk utility. Then we'll go ahead and erase this. Fresh start. Mm, doesn't really matter. Um, we'll just go ahead and leave it as that. Security options, yeah, fastest, that's what we want. Erase, and we'll go ahead and let it do its thing here. Shouldn't take too long to do. And just like that, it is officially done being erased here. You can see the fresh start disk, which is completely empty. It says um, 400 gigabytes is free. Should be a 500 gigabyte drive, but I guess my partitioning stream got fucked up on it, but... I personally don't care about this drive at all, so it doesn't really even matter, so yay! We can go ahead and just shut down this computer now, and we can begin the process of opening up the MacBook. This is some generally good advice for generally any laptop. Whenever you're working on a laptop, especially in like home purposes, if you're doing this in a business, most likely you have a nice like desk or something to work on your laptop. But if not, um, you should definitely use a pillow to rest your to rest your laptop on like I do here and let us go ahead and open up the MacBook with all these screws out and undone we can go ahead and just pull off the back just like that you know it's all scratched up and stuff but you know we're opening the MacBook back up again last time we opened up this MacBook to upgrade it it was the RAM since we do have 16 gigs of RAM right here this will be staying and this will be staying and this will be staying obviously this is what we'll be touching here. I've only taken out a Mac hard drive, specifically a MacBook hard drive, once, and that was the old crackbook. I took out the hard drive from that. I think I remember how to take this out. You just take out these two little screws here, and then pull out the bracket, and then go ahead and do undo a couple other things, and it just pops out. I know it's fairly easy. I highly recommend, if you're a computer nerd like me, that you get a tool set. Um, you know, the regular iFixit screwdrivers don't always get you that far. Um, I have to have to use all my specialty things, but you know once you get the drive out and everything There's only one bracket to take out um, with your old hard drive There are these little things here that you can see if it wants to focus maybe 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 uh, Oh this focus all right. Well, let's see Okay, these little things here you gotta pull these off since they do go on the SSD I just now got all the little screws in here. So this is how it should like or should look like I should say it's almost ready to be put in and just like that the new SSD is placed into the MacBook hello new SSD 
goodbye crappy hard drive. So currently as it is, I still need to install High Sierra onto this SSD. Right now it's just a completely blank drive. So I am booting into recovery mode right now. Everything's installed and everything seems to be working so far. So see you all when I'm installing the operating system. Big things are happening for this MacBook right now. So we are going ahead and installing High Sierra onto here. I will be able to take full advantage of the newest and greatest Apple file system. I forgot the name of it for a second there. I will be able to use Apple file system. This will be a pretty fun. I can finally take advantage of it. So um, be right back when this thing's done doing its little thing. Everything is all nice and set up on this MacBook Pro SSD now. Everything is perfect the way I want it. So now it is time to boot up the MacBook and see how much faster it is to get to the desktop with all the applications. Same applications that I have enabled as last time. Just just on the SSD now, so three, two, one, and it is off. So now up to the time lapse. The timer says 34 seconds, but in reality, I think it took about 30 seconds. I was just a little bit slow to press the button. Either way, though, um, these speeds were drastically improved just by putting an SSD in. It went from like almost two minutes to under or pretty much half a minute. So uh, drastic changes. This was an upgrade that was desperately needed by this MacBook. I will install Windows 10 onto this MacBook, too, or at least give it a shot. Um, now that you know Windows 7 isn't really the best on SSDs, so Windows 10 I'll give a go. It's going to be a bit of a pain to find drivers for the 2011 uh, MacBook Pros, but my friend Shelby, he's done it with his uh, late 2011, so I should be able to do it. So Windows 10 will probably be going on this laptop, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm really glad I did this upgrade. It was much needed. And now my MacBook Pro is finally maxed out. So the RAM's upgraded and the SSD is added. Um, there's no more upgrades I can do. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and follow my Instagram and Twitter if you'd like. It is at the Apple Buyer. No spaces. It will be in the left corner of the video. Again, thank you for watching and peace.